In this lesson, we're going to look at how to use masks to cut objects out of their background and how to do a few different special effects. So in your lesson files folder, in the lesson 4 folder, we actually have several little projects for us to work on. The first one I want to work on is the vignette masks. And I'm going to drag that in here to Photoshop. And here I have this nice little family and I have um, on my top layer the picture of the family. Down below, I have a, a blue background waiting for us. So when I cut some things out, uh, you'll see blue. So that's why you're, it's going to be blue, is because we have a blue background. And I'm going to start off just making a big blobby selection around the family using my regular lasso tool. Okay, And after I make a selection, I can hit the Layer Mask button down here at the bottom of the Layers panel. and it then makes those pixels disappear. Now it also makes this show up in my layers panel. This is the actual mask. In any place I have black pixels, it's going to hide that. In any place I have white, it's going to show that on the picture. So I can even use a paintbrush to work with this. So I can get a just a paintbrush tool and it depends on the hardness and the size of the paintbrush, but I can use black paint to then hide more pixels, or I can use white paint to show more pixels. So I'm not deleting. This is not destructive. All those pixels are still there. I'm just masking some of them out and allowing some of them to show. So since you know how to make a selection and you know how to mask, you're able to do just about anything. Okay, You can take uh, this guy's uh, head off and put it onto the Incredible Hulk's body at this point as long as you can do a good selection and make a good mask and make things blend. So that's the basics of how to do that. Um, now I do want to show a special effect with this uh, particular video so I'm going to trash my mask and um, there are ways in Photoshop to make a, a selection better and one of the earliest ways that Photoshop put in is called feathering which just makes the edge of your selection kind of soft, which is important sometimes if you've got a soft edge selection. Um, there's better ways to do that now, this refine edges box, which we'll look at in another lesson here. Um, but if I go to select, modify, feather, I can feather the edges of the selection. What that means is that right now I'm set at 15 pixels, so 15 pixels around uh, my selection are going to become fuzzy. They're going to be partially selected and it'll fade my selection out. So I click OK and it doesn't look like it's done anything at this point until I go to put my mask on. And you can see that 15 pixels from the edge of the selection are now fuzzy. So I've created this vignette. It's sort of this dreamlike uh, sort of uh, thing so I could stack up and collage these different things um, if I wanted to do this in a project in the future. So that's the basics of how masks work. Black hides pixels on the layer. White shows the pixels. Any way that you can create black and white, paintbrush, gradient, anything else works for hiding or showing different pixels.